Hi everybody and welcome to a very quick tutorial here on ProSportFisher.com. I'm getting a lot of questions on how to fit large hooks into our Predator tube. Uh, and of course, can we get the soft head to go on the large diameter Predator tube? Well, yes you can. It's absolutely no problem as long as you follow just a few steps. So here are the steps so that you can make a Pro Predator tube. This is a Arix SA270 size 5.0, a fairly big hook. And this is a Predator tube. We have opened up and ovalized in, in the back and it slips on there very easy. Um, then you can of course take, this is a 12 millimeter Pro Predator cone, um, 1.25 grams. It will not balance this big hook out perfectly, but it will definitely assist. And then we have, this is the 12 millimeter soft head. And we're gonna open this up so that it fits the 4.8 millimeter tubing just fine. And then of course you can see that it will open up the soft head so that you get that nice bait fish profile there. But um, let's see how fast it can be done. Now the first thing that you wanna have is of course a pro predator tube. Now, as you can see here, it's very hard to fit this large eyed 5.0 directly into the tube. But then, take your lighter. I have a power torch, but a normal lighter will do just as well. And then just heat up the edge of the tube until it gets clear. Then just take your Pro Predator needle, which is tapered at one end, flat and wide, and insert it while the plastic is still hot. And then just let it cool for a 10, 15 seconds until the plastic is settled. Now what this will do is that it will leave you with a very, very strong edge. Now as you can see here, the plastic has reset and it is a very strong entrance into the tube. Then remove the needle. And as you can see, it's perfectly ovalized. Now, uh, when we come here with our 5.0 ra la rather large eye, it fits perfectly in there. Now, normally, I, after I have made the ovalizing, I will cut it into a plus length. As you can see, the predator cone just fits perfect on there, and um, it's pretty much set to start tying now. But we want to open up a soft head as well. And as you can see, the hole in the soft head is a lot smaller than the actual diameter of the Predator tube. But it's no problem. If you have any conical shaped object, here I'm using a brush. And you can just slide it on there. And because it's so flexible and soft, you can just push that on there. Now the brush ha has a handle diameter, which is almost equivalent to the uh, Predator tube, and then just take a scalpel and gently just cut out a small ring and remove the ring. And then you have a hole, which is, you can just trim any excess off, which might be left there. And then you have a hole which is perfectly suited to go onto the Predator tube perfectly opened up and haven't lost any strings at all. So this is pretty much all you need to start tying. And as you can see, the predator cone behind the soft head makes it flare just beautifully. And now this is pretty much what you need to start tying and have a really strong construction.